it was my brother Scott and his friends that that really coaxed me into my first race and and made me put my name down on the bottom line and sign up and I got my number and I, I went to the top and the rest is history. Being newly injured, you don't know what you can do. You don't know how far to push it. And a lot of people stop way short. Being able to know your body and to know how far you can go is a really, really key element in disabled sports. I still remember the first kamikaze downhill where he came down the hill and no one had ever seen anything like this at that, at that time. And he just left a wake of spectators staring over their shoulders on the way down the hill just going, what was that? He's certainly the accelerated testing program. He, he breaks things that no one else breaks. And uh, he's a very good rider. He manages to keep it sunny side up most of the time. And uh, he charges hard and has a lot of fun. It's fun to watch him race. And, uh, sometimes scary, but always fun. It's so new and I have started it. I did take it from a sport that didn't exist and turned it into something that has the potential to be a very, very competitive and entertaining sport and that really excites me. Well, the best thing that could happen is if a big manufacturer gets interested in making them. But before that can happen, you got to plant the seed and let it sprout. I have started more than just a downhill sport or a dual slalom sport. It is going to expand into cross country and expand into just disabled people getting outdoors. And that is what the bottom line is. It's equality for all. No matter what is wrong with you, there's a way to get out there and a way to conquer your disability. After finding my limits in the chair, I knew that there was more out there. I was an avid skier when I was a kid, and uh, after my first lesson in a mono ski, which is the adaptive ski equipment, I knew the sport was for me.
we treat our athletes as elite athletes first and as disabled skiers as a secondary thing. When you're an athlete, you have three things to worry about. Number one, getting up in the morning. Number two, where you're going. Number three, the one thought and the one goal that you have for the day, you know, of going down the course. The man that's prepared the most is the man that's gonna win. I really enjoy that and enjoy pushing myself to be the best and to be more prepared than the next guy. Disabled sports, especially skiing, with the speed involved, are as intense, if not more intense, than 90% of the sports out there today. Never forget, first time I ever saw a, a blind person do it downhill, and the guide fell down, and he was just continuing on, you know? Here I am going, holy smokes! I'd rather crash than have a mediocre race, because when you get over the finish line, you're not gonna be happy about your race anyway, regardless of whether you win or lose. That's really not what it's all about. So many times there's little tiny things out there that can distract you from your main goal or your main focus of the day. You gotta keep your head down, keep focused, know what you wanna do, see what you wanna do, and feel what you wanna do before you actually even do it. You can be scared, but you can't ski scared. And if you ski scared, you don't get the same rush. You just have to arc one spark it. I've seen teammates of mine uh, three gates from the finish line in a downhill. I've seen their artificial legs snap in half and blow off their body and continue on and do well. Camaraderie, friendship, uh, people. It's, uh, it's the reason I ski. I wouldn't be here unless I was having a good time and the people make it a good time.